Hello, guides and goddesses. I hope all is well with you and yours and all that stuff. So this reading is going to be about holes and goals. And what do I mean when I'm talking about holes and goals? Because I know the first thought might be a naughty one, right? You know, get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> first, get your mind out the gutter. Second, I'm referring to holes, things that you should drop because it's dragging you down already. <laughs> and goals, things that you are going to be uh, encouraged by the universe and self. You should Things you should go for, whatever that is. I don't know. I feel like I might be doing a reading like this more than once coming soon but for now i'm intending this reading to be for um those who will be listening to this reading between today the 20th of december and the 27th of december okay anyone listening between that time so let's go for the holes first. Now I'm going to split this just for a little bit more clarity. Just for me. <laughs> Put masculine over here. And feminine over so it's not all weird put it over here there we go enjoy my love affair with post-it notes anyways <laughs> okay so let's dive into <clears throat> the holes the things you can drop stop let it go, things you should be moving past. And this is a collective reading, so it's a little bit of everything, nothing specific, but general energy of what can be released. Mm -mm. So, sorry for the silence. The words that get are freedom and drive. And I do get two different energies that feel a little bit like obstacles. 2023 for someone. Uh, the focus, and please, my, my readings are for consideration only. 2023, I feel like, will be more about realizing the value of freedom. It doesn't feel like caging, but feel like the freedom to speak, uh, the freedom to be yourself. Um, so maybe there is a bit of restrictive thinking or impression from outside. <clears throat> look horrible and dry. <laughs> All right. I also get um, drive. In the word drive, it doesn't feel like we have the wheel of a car data, but who is motivating you? Who is driving you? Who's driving your energy? who's driving your will, who's driving your success. It feels like, um, okay, so you are a car and you are the driver, right? Uh, it feels like being decisive, picking, choosing, being more definitive about who is driving your car. This can also be in 
declaring one's space. Declaring one's space, personal space, uh -huh. um, space for opinion. As I say that, um, this feels like for you, masculine. I feel like you're going to be in the presence of somebody in 2023 that's going to be heavily opinionated. Grotesque is the word that's coming through grotesque. I, it's so strong. I need to write it. What I hear is grotesque opinion. So, 2023 is going to be a little bit of a test of your gangster, okay? Although, I don't want anyone to freak out. Um, the grotesque opinion, the outside um, push or desires to conform from the others, coming from the others, that is what peels back the skin and reveals the self, its evolution, its, I don't even want to use the word regrowth, rebirth, regeneration evolution. It's defining the self, knowing, okay, I hear, sorry, I, I, I get interrupted. Uh, I hear Hall and Oates. Who remembers that? I just hear the chorus though. I can't go for that. No, no can do. No can do. There's fortune though, it's control. It's control based on knowing that you don't have to do what you're, oh wow. You don't have to do what you're told. I don't know how wow, this applies. I now hear the group rage against the machine. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Wow. Let's see what the general energy is, masculine and feminine, regarding the holes for 2023. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was popping up, okay? So this is like hiding in the deck, but trying to get out like, oh, by the way. You know what? Let me put that right there so you can kind of see it. But let's see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, my. Hmm. Oh, no. That's, oh. You like that? Emotional ASMR in there. Okay, so look. <laughs> 2023, you're going to have... I don't feel like this is you, guides and goddesses. I feel like it's what you're dealing with. I feel like bio bubble may be a thing for 2023, as in keeping the wrong energies out of your biosphere. One of y'all's got somebody in your energy. Um, maybe they started off as a good person, but they're bad and they're a heavy influence. They're going to be a heavy influence. Um, whatever the influence is, if you go that path, it makes you less emotional, makes you cold. 
Whatever the energy is, though, it fucks with your mind. And this is my card of good guide gone bad. So this is somebody who came to this planet to do some great work. They came to the planet to do great things, to awaken others, to guide, to lead, um, something like that, teach. This can be teach. Uh, but whatever they were to do, maybe they were came here to be a great parent. Whatever it was, they were to spread the love to others with their clothes on. Right. And get your mind out the gutter, okay? But whoever this person is, I also heard the word they, so it can be more than one. But whoever it is, I feel like you start off early in the year, like at the beginning of the year possibly, or you're doing it now. Whoever it is, they have some secrets you're going to have to, you'll be dealing with, but they're forgettable secrets. So I don't think it's stuff you don't know. It's like, um, oh my God, it's a horrible picture. Okay. I'm sharing what's coming through. Um, so I see someone giving love, like sitting on the side of a bed, looks like with someone and the image of the person on the bed, they have a needle in their arm. That is a way to fuck out picture. I'm just sharing what's coming through when I see the images. Um, so it's possible that 2023 leads off with whew, things that make you go crazy. Not things that make you go, hmm, the things that make you go crazy. Um, so you'll be dealing with someone who has an addiction. Addiction is starting off the year. And I don't, and while my card is showing sexual stuff, I don't 100% feel like it is a sexual thing at all. I think it's something that fucks people up when they get involved. I think it's the type of secret that people keep quiet, but they're being eaten alive on the inside. And so there's growing up to do. I also heard going up. Mm. Okay, so what I'm getting is the energy of divine intervention on divine intervention given by worst case scenario. Wow. Masculine, <clears throat> this is rough, man. 2023, one of y'all is going to be caring for somebody who has some attachments. How about that? I'm going to say it nicely. They have some attachments that are will literally be like, I don't want to say reversing your time. It would be like taking the precious hands of a clock of time and rubbing it with an SOS Brillo pad. <laughs> you can see washing dishes is on my mind. SOS Brillo pad is, and then rubbing it, you know, all over and messing up all of the pretty writing and artwork and all that stuff. You are going to have to step away from a relationship to protect yourself, your, I don't even want to go with your interest it's protecting self. It's mm, it's realizing that ain't your motherfucking data and backing up. I got to get out of this. 
that's rough data. That's rough data because I feel like it's visible. It's you can see it, but um, wow! At the bottom of the deck, you can see it, and it takes over your existence. Be aware. Be aware of connections that are not walking upward and forward next year. Like legit, legit, like no, like step back, take a breath, have a look around the room, check out the orbit, man. <laughs> check out the fucking orbit. Dirty deeds. I feel like the universe is going to test you. Whoever this is for, it's a test of one, how bad do you want it? Two, um, it's old data being relived. So there may have been a chaotic childhood that is somehow similar to the energy you might have called, called in, magnetics. Um, masculine, you might have a little bit of empath dangling out of your skirt. <laughs> I said it. Might have a little empathy dangling out of your skirt. And you might just be like, you know, given all the empath, goo, and money, and life, and time to someone who is out of control, emotional, has some type of clear thing going on. And again, it doesn't feel like had sex on a platter or anything like that. It feels like being nice to your own detriment, being nice to the symphonic sounds of your own detriment. Please take notice. Uh, I'm really emphasizing something about sound, something about the sound. So it can be someone who's loud or can have the ability to get loud. Something about their living is, is loud. It's louder than your ears really want to hear. Something about the sound. So it can be something that's nice now, really loud and argumentative later. Uh, but I, I do not feel like it's hidden. <laughs> I don't feel like any of that voyage is in the dark. I feel like it's very visible. I feel like um, the addiction part is visible. So be mindful of connections like that. Um, it alters time. I'm gonna move that. <laughs> let's move feminines, ladies. Let's, <laughs> goddesses. Making notes. What I heard was same shit, different bitch. Ooh, well now. Magnetics. Magnetics. Mm. Okay. I can't pass over the zombie deck. It's looking at me there. Let's see. What's going on for the goddess in 2023? Magnetics. Turn this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm always doing this through the screen and it's reverse, I forget. Anyways, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Magnetics. Goddesses. Whew. What's going on here? Magnetics. Who are the magnets? 
Okay, side message I just heard is be mindful of taking care of other people's responsibilities and lessons. The tutor does not actually do the homework. <laughs> what? I'm just telling you what messages are coming through. It sounds crazy, sorry. You're going to have to protect yourself a bit. Protect your energy. Yeah. Okay. So as I'm saying this, what I'm getting is a visual of a protector trying to protect, but having to pull back for the lesson. Got to get out of the way. So there's a guide, a goddess, came here to do that work. You know, put in that work, that work, guide some people through, you know, help them through the portal. Right, right, right. And then they get through the portal and they turn into a whole motherfucking ingrateful ass motherfucker. Ungrateful, ingrateful, <laughs> regrettable, regrateful, cheese grater, some bullshit like that. It feels... <laughs> It feels like the Empress who knows the truth, who knows that someone you've come here to guide and be of assistance to, you know they're off the path. And you may try to point that out, um, but you don't realize you are speaking to someone who now speaks a different language. And so there must be a backing away, um, travel to new places, distant places, new things, right? And it's unfortunate because if you notice, she's looking back, there's a zombie about to get hit by a car. You can see the danger. And you wanna say something like, hey, yo, you about to get your head knocked off by that Chevy, that 57. You about to, you about to get it lights out. It's predictive data, it's accurate too. Problem is they're a zombie or they're becoming a zombie. And the awakening there after that is really through some stuff. They gotta go through some stuff. And as much as you want to do what you do best. You have to get out of the way, even while the city's burning down and you can see it, you know it, you have the power to stop it. You have the will, the energy, the drive, the knowledge, pick something. You can do it. It's all just, I hear Whitney Houston, I'm every woman, it's all in me. And that is fucking accurate. Now get out of the way. 2023 will be about letting people learn what brick walls are all about. 2023 is saying, okay, I pointed out the brick wall. If you, I told you it was hard to try to share some experience. I'm, you know, I even have some knowledge that about when you hit the brick wall with your face, it's rough, right? It's, it, you're going to, you're going to mess some stuff up and then you can hit it with your heart. And then you can take other people into the mess with you. And then you can smack their head into the wall also. And then you could teach them how to love or at least endure smacking their head into the wall. Nonetheless, goddess, you have to get out of the way. Um, not everyone learns from love. Um, they can accept it. They can experience it doesn't mean they pick it up and go carry it to the next destination. Uh, there's also in the quiet of stepping back and understanding that others have to learn, even if it hurts to watch. Um, even if it drives you mad. There is 
there is a break. I see the word respite. Respite, something, R-E-S-P-I-T-E, res <laughs> and respect. But there's a, a self-respect too, but for your own energy. Um, if others are choosing their energy, you can be there when needed or requested, but putting yourself in certain situations or <clears throat> giving opinion, especially when it's near people nearby, like family, friends. Everyone is having an individual experience. Especially when it comes to relationships that you can clearly see you're eating them alive. You can clearly see it. And, you, and it's clearly driving you crazy. You can see them being split or eaten alive by, or consumed, consumed by the lifestyle, the living, the people in the surroundings, appearance. Just, oh, we could go all day. I see Broadway stage. <laughs> so maybe it's that, I don't, I don't know if it's that visual, but maybe, I don't know. Nonetheless, the freedom, the escape, the um, removal of what does not belong in one's environment is usually up to one and usually is the choice of one in most happy situations. Uh, and they have whoever this person is that you are guiding or came here to guide, you have to let them learn. So it feels like 2023 is a lesson in doing your own thing, pulling back your energy, restraint, letting people hit brick walls a little bit. Yes, because this is about growth for them. So it doesn't really feel like crazy stuff for you, goddesses, but it does feel like the suffering. Um, and I mean, you, oh, wow, okay. Don't let it be that thick. It's the suffering or the sadness that you will endure in watching those that you care about have life experiences that aren't quite savory, um, aren't quite, damn, the word safe is coming through. I think that there's a limitation on putting yourself in situations and this is learning to Wow. It's learning to be there when necessary. You see, there's a child and a woman. It's someone, you know, being who has experienced some endings of sorts, and they're watching from the background. They're there, but cannot and should not be controlled. So it really just feels like a lot of thinking and anxiety. Don't let it be that thick. Um, there are lessons others have to learn. It really just feels like the energy of seeing people that you really care about um, go through learning lessons um, and having to get themselves out of it, if that's what they choose. And it's saving and conserving your energy and heartache, you know, and I don't think this is hobby data. This might be get out of the house data if you're going through that type of heartache. And I do see some, okay, I hope it's not this thick. I just saw a situation of family, maybe some restrictions on seeing family or people trying to play games with kids and families. And well, you can't see the kid if because you, you're like this and this. It feels like it's high level power play and chaos. It really is. Um, but it's a part of the path for them. So may, you know, be mindful of the energy. All right, let's, uh, let's go for the goals for the masculine. <sighs> 
masculine. I hear the Commodores. She's a brick house. <laughs> What's going on with you? It's a theme. Goals. Things you can be going for. And even more. Goals. Go for 2023. Ooh. Okay, masculine. Somebody needs to knock off the bullshit. I, I hear and I see a, an image of someone sitting in a chair at a barber shop or a salon of some sort, um, altering the look, updating, upgrading. I feel like one of you will do really well or have great success if you can reach out to someone who can upgrade your look. This could be haircut, um, face, facial stuff, just Someone who can do something that gives you an upgraded look. And I feel like it's like the flip of a switch. Easy. That's the thing. You may have had this desire to upgrade your look to or upgrade like you. Snap, crackle, and pop good stuff, though. I hear Beyonce. <laughs> I hear that song, too. Upgrade you. Some of you may have a feminine energy around you who has the ability to upgrade your appearance, your, your shine. Whoa, this is weird data. Okay, I gotta write that, hold on. Okay, so the word that came through was xenon. Now xenon, I think that's the right spelling. And I think it's the light bulbs on the front of a car or light bulbs, light source of some sort. It's super bright. I'm like fairly certain of that. I'm just not 100% sure on the spelling. Xenon, I get the number 17 and we bring that to eight, okay? In that, in that eight, we get solving some problemos mm, with ease. And it's, it will be because you altered some detail of the self. Not walking on your hands, doing handstands in public or anything. <laughs> You're not uh, learning how to jump out of airplanes or play piano or anything like that. Maybe you are, I don't know. But there's a detail about the way you look. Flip of a light switch. And you go from um, you go from a little light to something as powerful as xenon bulb, like staring into the sun. And it makes you seductive. And you, you've been stalling on this thing. <laughs> okay, you've been stalling on it. Yeah, you've been, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's like thinking and looking and, but fear of what could be. Let's say you wanted to change your hair, all right? You know, you don't have to commit to it, right? I know that's a thing, right? <laughs> you don't have to like commit. You, there's wigs, you could, and I'm not saying where, you could go into a wig shop, try one on, look at yourself in the mirror, there's apps. You can, that there's apps that'll change your hair just to give you a little idea. For some, for somebody that switch, 
Flipping that switch brings in some some relations. <laughs> it brings in relations is what I'm saying. Now, that's weird. <laughs> you, okay, so if you flip the switch and get the, the new, the upgraded you or the altered 2.0, 10, oh, I could hear, I heard 10.0. Yeah, the others are looking at you different. You get some chases. Hmm. Nope, that's it. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mask. I'm sorry, Masculine. That sounds really egotistical. <laughs> that sounds like high ego. So let's see. Let's. Uh, but I could be wrong. Let's 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 double check that. Let's double check because you know we should double check that. What energy is the goal? Goal energy for 2023. Ooh, for the Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm done with you. <laughs> Honest person and self centered. Get the fuck out of here. I'm done with you. Goodbye. It's over. We're done. I want my records back. What else? <laughs> Jesus. I'm just going to pull out a whole new deck because there's, <laughs> I don't think it's good for me to be giving you egotistical advice. Change your look and you can go be a dick to the planet because that's the data I'm getting. <laughs> and it's not even change your look. It's an adjustment. It's a, Wow. All right, what else for the masculine? Go for it. Mm -mm -mm. Ears, 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 masculine, please. You've learned lessons, you understand humans as a whole. Apply that science in 2023 with your relationships and even the simple thoughtless connections. What I heard is she stands out in a crowd. Oh, shit. Go for it. Oh, boy. One of y'all got okay. 2023 masculine. I don't know who you are, but you, you are around the one. The one, you know what I mean when I say the one, don't you? You've been closed off to it, didn't believe it existed. Whether it's this is same sex or different sex, I don't care. You got the one, the one. They look, they, okay, they look how you like, how you like it. <laughs> they act how you like it. They do everything how you like it. They're in your, they're in your space. They're in your orbit. In 2023, and there's great passion. Great, great, great passion. Lots of um, giving of the self to be done, and boom, chicka, wow, wow. Problem here is the ears. Problem is the ears, masculine. You got the one in your orbit, but be mindful of 
quietly suffering or going through emotional whatever the fuck this is and missing the right one, like ruining it. Wow. Like, like when the door is closed, you can't go back. Mm. It's what you've been waiting for. It's what you've been fighting for and against at the same time. Fighting for it while simultaneously being closed off to it. Really? It's what you've been waiting for. And you don't have to wait. It's in your orbit. They, it, I don't mean to say they are it, but you know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> Be mindful of fucking this up because you're stalling the fuck out. And you and your you and your head on some other sh okay, let's just see where you are. That's what is this depressed energy that causes blindness? <laughs> Loner energy. That's all I'm getting. Loner, 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 all alone. You can, you know, you're alone when you die, right? <laughs> you were alone when you came here, right? Unless you're a twin and you came out at the same time, which doesn't really happen. So you came in alone again. <laughs> you can leave alone and pull your own shit. So don't miss out on the one. And that was very graphic what I said, but some somehow kind of true. <laughs> so be mindful of walking around and being a shell of yourself. This can be from past situations. Um, just going through a general foggy, fucked up, unhappy energy. Or just that loner energy. You like your space. You like your own place. And you're on that someday shit. You don't get to decide someday. That's not always how it works, unless you never go outside. Then yeah, okay, someday might be on you. Be mindful of maybe you're manifesting something because you keep thinking about it, but not like acting on it. Being so in love with, okay, the word I heard is bachelor-like freedoms. Um, if you are in maybe mode, that's cool. Uh, someday mode, that's cool, uh, but be mindful. 2023, you have the one in your orbit, and it does. Um, you risk losing this. Yeah. How many question marks do you need right there? Like what? Come on. It's putting somebody, it's it's pushing people away. It's, you know, it's dome energy, dome. Wow. And so you've got all these questions, doubts, fears, wonderments, and inside also kind of giving up. It's just like a uh, fuck it uh, energy. And that's when it shows up. <laughs> that's usually when love shows up too, by the way. When you, right when you like really stop looking. So be mindful of energy going out in connections. I do feel like um, that loner energy makes you completely miss um, someone sent to move you, uh, mo move you, motivate you, uh, be with you to on that next, up to the next level, up to that next step, the next part of the journey. Mm. And what do I mean when I say the one? Let's 
você. What is the mindset? One. I see an energy here. And I don't think this person is a Pisces. I think it they're hidden. There's things you don't see about them. Um, so there may be a hot and cold energy you're giving to someone in 2023 that kind of pushes them away. Mm. But what do they have? Uh, there's experience, there's grace, lessons, um, a new start. You have honesty or there's some type of like understanding. Understanding is easy. Something about them that, that is very um, protectful and protective of your emotions because they are emotionally balanced. Cancer energy here. Yeah, there's just a lot of not, there's a myth. Okay, I'm not going to go any further. Be mindful of missing the one in 2023. That's all I can say. Because the desires match. Um, it feels like people who have gone through their inner battles or through each other. They become more aware of themselves. And there's a lot of emotion here. But there, but from one side, there's an all or nothing that is going on to or becomes an issue. Over time, it becomes a, it becomes a Maybe masculine, you have a my way or the highway type of energy. And there's that test, that test of learning the self and knowing what you want. Yeah, but then are you open enough to learn others? Because that impedes uh, future connections and how well they thrive. How, you know, what is most valuable to you? And if you look like you're more valuable to yourself than any connection, eventually, you know, people see that and, you know, they stop waiting to see if things are going to change. So be mindful of that ego. And this can be the damage coming out of relationships. This is baggage, guys. Okay. This is baggage. It feels like putting forth a false version of yourself just to make people leave you alone kind of energy, but that's not what you're supposed to be doing anyways. So whoever's coming in, there's clear knowledge of who they are, but it feels like stalling energy, perhaps from your end, But at the bottom of the deck, sacred wisdom. But love is possible even when there is imbalance, if it is truly desired. Um, 2023, side message. To the masculines, you got work coming in. Something you want. Something you really want. Some type of income that gives you some type of freedom or variety.
Oh, okay, side message, masculine. Stage. When are y'all's gonna be on stage? Maybe you're working to be popular, um, famous on stage, 2023. You're gonna see stages. I hear and again and again and again and again. I see stages again and again. <laughs> it could be tour data. Oh, lovely. Six months after. Ooh. Well, what doesn't snap your spine makes you stronger. If that's your data and you planning to be on stages, big, and I don't mean any stage. It feels like, like, wow, type of stage. Like when you look out and the audience is like, wow, there's that person. And you're like, oh my God, wow, look at those people. Look at all those people. <laughs> it was like that. However, when the, whatever this is, is done, you're, you're going to have some complaints. But it makes you stronger. So, you know, I feel like it's learning about not going for the okie doke. That bullshit sometimes has a pattern print to it. You may be dealing with people who don't take responsibility for things. This is all around money. Ooh. Money and, and high stakes, gold level, gold. Platinum level players type big stuff. Wow. Congrats. It is a mastering of feminine energy, though. Tempering emotions with um, keeping your fists in your pocket. <laughs> uh, keeping your fists not clenched up and ready to punch faces in type stuff. Accepting that there are trials and tribulations with the direction you're going in until you understand the lay of the land. Definitely don't scorch it. So it's learning when to be quiet and be more and be, uh, I think you know where I'm going with this. Maybe everything doesn't require fists. Um, and it's learning the difference between success and being excessive. One has continuation. The other makes people go in the opposite direction. So there's a role to play. I heard, will it matter in 20 years? So that may have to be the way you balance things out. Like I could kick your ass, but will it matter in 20 years? Probably not. I just want to be alive in 20 years. It will be all about how people influence you and how you like temper that with your intuition. Like I know this person's full of shit. I'm not gonna fucking let them rile me up today. Or I know this motherfucker was jinky when they asked me to do this concert. Now I'm in front of 20 million people and I only got paid $5, but I knew this motherfucker was jinky. So I'm gonna take that popularity and fame and I'm gonna do this with it instead of punching a hole through your face. <laughs> I could do that, but time is very important to be, you know, gotta be remembering that data like, Time is a thing, and there's better ways to solve problems. So mm, there will be elements. Whoever's going up that escalator or the elevator to towards your ultimate high-profile planetary known data, you're you're going that going in that direction. Your intuition is so important. Don't lose that. And you will lose it if you get caught up in everybody's in exploitation. If you understand that it's exploitation, you can exploit in return. Aha. Message. 
even when they are momentarily and monetarily dependent upon you, uh, you can make it of service to self. So your far side, the rap group, she keeps passing me by. <laughs> so don't let the opportunistic ones come through and you be all in your feelings and you don't take advantage of you the way they're taking advantage of you. It's rough, but you can, uh, you can come out on the, ooh, look at the bottom is self-control, controlling of the self and doing so in a secretive way because you are illuminated. Now that doesn't mean you gotta go tell them motherfuckers that shit because the illuminated don't need to do stuff like that. <laughs> they don't need to do stuff like that. It keeps coming back. Okay, Xenon Bold. Going back to that. And while you are shining bright, others probably makes it other hard for others to see what the real you is doing, right? I heard a car horn beep beep. <laughs> uh, so whoever that's for you, on a journey, have fun. Let's do the yes or no and close this out. If you have a yes or no question about this reading or what you should have for dinner is what I heard. <laughs> I see tacos. It's delicious. Lucky you. Anyways. <laughs> I see tacos and then I see shredded beef. Now that also sounds delicious. All right. Okay. Redirection. Let's split this deck, shall we, and get to your three questions. One yes or no question, select one deck and let's see. If you are feeling deck one, ooh, the answer is yes with an eight. I don't know why I feel like it's about support. Anyways, did you pick deck two? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm going to need you to reword your question, those who did this on deck two. You may be asking a question that can't be answered with a yes or no, or it involves the free will of someone else, or it's a whole fantasy, something like that. So reword that. I'll come back to this deck. Did you choose deck three? Mm -hmm. Oh, the answer is yes. If this is about lust, desire, something you want, be mindful of danger. It's a dangerous yes. This is about lust. Okay. And it's about lust and do you love yourself? Loving oneself. Or protecting oneself. It's maybe about desires for a more hamster wheel data that wasn't good before. Ooh, I'm getting out of that. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoy this reading, Please uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button after that, then hit the bell that, so you get all notifications for when I update, all right? I do appreciate you if you watched this far, all right? Have a successful 2023. I will be doing more readings on 2023 uh, because we are all well, right? <laughs> Bye.